Hello friends, welcome to Ming Hor English Story. Today we will learn about daily English conversation, so let's jump right in. Dialogue 1, What's Wrong? Hey Sarah, you seem a little off today. Is something wrong? Yeah, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed with work. There's just so much to do. I understand. It can be tough to manage everything sometimes. Is there anything I can do to help? Thanks for asking. Maybe you could help me with a few tasks. That would take some weight off my shoulders. Of course. Let's sit down and go through your to-do list together. We'll figure out a plan and tackle it one step at a time. That would be great. I appreciate your support. To start, I have a report due by the end of the day. It requires a lot of research and analysis, and I haven't had enough time to work on it. Okay, let's prioritize that task. Is there any specific information you need for the report or any resources I can help gather? Actually, there are a few articles and studies that I need to reference. If you could assist in finding those sources, it would be a huge help. Absolutely, I'll start searching for the articles and studies right away. Once I find them, I'll compile a list with the necessary citation information for you to use in your report. That would save me a lot of time. Thank you so much. Another task I need to handle is responding to a backlog of emails. It's been piling up, and I'm struggling to catch up. I understand how overwhelming an overflowing inbox can be. Let's divide the emails into categories based on priority and urgency. I can help you draft responses or even take care of some of the less critical messages. That would be fantastic. I'll forward you the emails, and we can work on them together. I appreciate your willingness to assist me with this. No problem at all. We're a team and we are here to support each other. Together, we'll work through these tasks and alleviate some of the stress you're feeling. Thank you for being so understanding and helpful, A. Eh? It means a lot to me. You're welcome, Sarah. Remember, it's okay to ask for help when things get overwhelming. We'll get through this together and I'm here to support you. Dialogue 2, Lunchtime. Hey. John, it's lunchtime. Do you have any preferences for today's meal? I'm in the mood for something light and healthy. Maybe a salad or a sandwich. Sounds good to me. There's a new salad place nearby. Shall we give it a try? Sure, that sounds like a great idea. I could use some fresh greens. Perfect. Let's head over there and grab a table. We can catch up while enjoying a nutritious lunch. That sounds like a plan. I'm looking forward to some quality conversation over a healthy meal. Plus, trying out a new place adds a bit of excitement to the lunch break. Absolutely. It's always nice to explore new food options and break the monotony. I've heard good things about their variety of salad toppings and dressings. That's encouraging. I'm always on the lookout for different flavors and combinations. It's great that they offer a range of dressings to choose from. I usually prefer a vinaigrette or something light. They definitely have a selection of dressings to cater to different tastes. I'm more of a balsamic vinaigrette person myself, so we can both find something we enjoy. Do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies I should be aware of? No, I don't have any specific restrictions or allergies. However, I do try to eat mostly plant-based, so I appreciate having various vegetable options in the salad. Noted. The salad place we're going to has a build-your-own salad option, so you can customize it to your preferences. They have a wide array of fresh vegetables, fruits, nuts, and protein options like grilled chicken or tofu. That's perfect. I love the flexibility of being able to choose my own ingredients. It ensures that I can create a salad that suits my taste and dietary choices. I'm glad that the place aligns with your preferences. It's important to have options that accommodate different dietary needs. It won't take long to get there, and I'm sure we'll find something delicious on the menu. I appreciate your thoughtfulness in suggesting this place. A, it's always enjoyable to share a meal with you and try new things together. Likewise, John. Lunch breaks are not only about nourishing our bodies but also about enjoying good company. Let's head out now and make the most of our lunch time. Dialogue 3, Argue Hey, Lisa. I wanted to talk to you about what happened earlier. I felt hurt by the way you spoke to me. 
I'm sorry if I came across as harsh. I was frustrated, but I didn't mean to hurt you. I understand that, but it's important for us to communicate respectfully, even when we're upset. Can we find a better way to handle disagreements in the future? You're right. I should have approached the situation differently. Let's work on improving our communication and finding constructive solutions together. I appreciate your willingness to work on our communication, Lisa. It's essential for us to address conflicts in a way that fosters understanding and strengthens our relationship. Absolutely. A. I value our relationship, and I want us to be able to express our frustrations without causing harm or hurt to each other. That's exactly what I'm aiming for too, Lisa. I think it would be helpful if we establish some guidelines for how we engage in arguments or disagreements. For instance, we could agree to take a step back and cool down before responding when we feel emotionally charged. I agree. Taking a moment to collect our thoughts can prevent us from saying things we don't mean or speaking out of anger. It would also give us a chance to reflect on our own feelings and perspectives. I agree. Taking a moment to collect our thoughts can prevent us from saying things we don't mean or speaking out of anger. It would also give us a chance to reflect on our own feelings and perspectives. I completely agree with that approach. Using I statements encourages us to take responsibility for our emotions and express our needs without making the other person defensive. Another important aspect is active listening. It's crucial for both of us to listen attentively to each other's viewpoints without interrupting or dismissing them. This way, we can gain a deeper understanding of each other's perspectives. I couldn't agree more. Active listening allows us to show empathy and validate each other's feelings, even if we don't necessarily agree. It's about creating a safe space for open and honest communication. Absolutely, Lisa. And when it comes to finding solutions, we should strive for a win-win outcome instead of trying to win the argument. We can brainstorm together and look for compromises or alternatives that satisfy both of our needs. I'm glad you mentioned that, Jack. It's not about one person triumphing over the other, it's about finding common ground and reaching a resolution that benefits both of us. Collaboration and compromise are key. I'm relieved that we're on the same page, Lisa. I believe that by implementing these guidelines and approaches, we can transform our conflicts into opportunities for growth and understanding. Our relationship will become stronger as a result. I share the same belief, Jack. It won't always be easy, but I'm committed to improving our communication and building a more harmonious connection. Together, we can overcome challenges and create a healthier dynamic. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate your openness and dedication. Let's continue to work on this together, supporting each other along the way. Our efforts will be worthwhile, and our relationship will thrive as a result. I couldn't agree more, Jack. Let's make a conscious effort to practice these guidelines and be patient with each other. I have faith that we can overcome any obstacles and create a stronger bond. Dialogue 4, Feeling Sick Hey, Mike. You don't look well. Are you feeling okay? I've been feeling under the weather since yesterday. I think I might be coming down with a cold. I'm sorry to hear that. Make sure to get plenty of rest and stay hydrated. Is there anything I can do to help? Thank you. I appreciate your concern. It would be great if you could pick up some medicine from the pharmacy for me. Of course. Rest up and I'll bring the medicine and some soup over later. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much, Jita. I really appreciate your offer to help. It means a lot to me. It's no problem at all, Mike. We're friends, and taking care of each other is what friends do. I'll head to the pharmacy right away and get the medicine you need. Is there anything specific you'd like me to get? Just some over-the-counter cold medicine should do. Maybe something that helps with congestion and relieving coughs. Oh, and if they have any throat lozenges, those would be great too. Got it. I'll make sure to get a variety of options for you. Is there a specific brand or type of soup you prefer? Any kind of warm and comforting soup will do. Maybe something with chicken or vegetable broth. Whatever you think would be soothing for a sore throat. All right. 
I'll keep that in mind. Is there anything else you need or anything else I can do to help while you're not feeling well? Honestly, knowing that you're there for me and willing to lend a hand is already a big help. Just having some company and someone to talk to when I'm feeling down would mean a lot. I'll definitely be there for you, Mike. Whether it's dropping by to check on you or just chatting over the phone, I'll make sure you have someone to lean on during this time. You're not alone in this. Thank you, A. It's comforting to know that I have someone like you in my corner. I'm really grateful for your support. The feeling is mutual, Mike. We've always been there for each other, and that won't change now. We'll get through this together, and you'll be back on your feet in no time. Your words mean a lot, Jita. I'm already feeling a little better just knowing that I have a friend like you. Thank you for being there for me. You're welcome, Mike. Take care of yourself, get some rest, and focus on getting better. I'll be there soon with the medicine and soup. In the meantime, if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. I will, Jita. Thanks again for everything. I'll see you soon. Take care, Mike. See you soon. Dialogue 5, Riding a Bike Hey, David. The weather is perfect for a bike ride. How about going for a cycling session this afternoon? That sounds like a great idea. I've been wanting to get some exercise and enjoy the fresh air. Awesome. Let's meet at the park around 4 p.m. We can explore different trails and enjoy the scenery. Perfect. I'll make sure to bring my bike and some water. Looking forward to it. Great. I'll do the same. Remember to wear a helmet for safety, and if you have any biking gear like gloves or knee pads, it might be a good idea to bring those too. Absolutely, safety first. I'll make sure to gear up properly. It's been a while since I rode a bike, so I want to make sure I'm prepared. No worries, David. We'll take it at a comfortable pace and enjoy the ride. If you need any tips or guidance, I'll be more than happy to help. Thanks, A. I appreciate that. I might need a little refresher on riding techniques, especially if we encounter any challenging terrain. Not a problem at all. I'll be there to guide you through any tricky spots and offer some advice along the way. It'll be a fun and supportive experience. I'm really looking forward to it. Exploring the park on a bike sounds like a great way to unwind and enjoy nature. It truly is. Riding a bike allows us to cover more ground and discover hidden gems within the park. We can take breaks whenever we want to appreciate the beautiful views or have a snack. That sounds perfect. I'll bring some energy bars and fruits to keep us fueled during the ride. It's important to stay hydrated and nourished. Excellent idea, David. It's crucial to stay hydrated and have some nutritious snacks to keep our energy levels up. We'll make sure to take breaks and enjoy the refreshments. Definitely. I'm glad we're on the same page. I can't wait to feel the wind in my hair and enjoy the thrill of pedaling through the park. It's going to be an invigorating experience, David. Cycling not only offers physical benefits but also clears the mind and boosts our mood. I'm sure we'll come back feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. I couldn't agree more, Mal. It's the perfect way to escape from the daily routine and connect with nature. Thank you for suggesting this bike ride. You're welcome, David. I'm glad you're excited about it. It's always great to have a biking buddy to share the adventure with. See you at the park at 4 p.m. See you then, Mal. Let's have a fantastic bike ride and make the most of this beautiful day. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video informative and engaging. If you enjoyed the content and would like to stay updated with more interesting stories, make sure to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be notified whenever we release new videos. Don't miss out on the latest updates and fascinating content. Thank you again for your support, and we look forward to bringing you more exciting videos in the future.